Hello, 7th level. I hope you're doing well today. On Monday, you got an introduction to the geography of Africa. Today, we're going to focus on one of the first trading civilizations of Africa, which is Aksum. Aksum is located on the Horn of Africa, so you'll find the Horn of Africa southeast of Egypt. It's down towards the bottom of the Red Sea, so it's close to the Middle East, it's in, the, in Africa, it has access to a lot of resources because of the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean, and a lot of trading happened here. So today you're gonna to be introduced to that, be introduced to a lot of the resources that were traded there. Um, so it starts at the Red Sea on the Horn of Africa, but it does go quite far inland, actually all the way down into Ethiopia. Aksum actually starts at a place called Agilis. Agilis is known as the gateway into that area. Um, and from Agilis, you come down into the trading center. As I said, a lot of things are traded there. We trade gold and silver and lots of spices, um, actually things that are traded out of those areas. Today, we would never think of trading ivory, which comes from elephants and from rhinos, also tortoise shells. So luckily, those things are not traded today. However, those were big trade items in those times. Um, but gold, silver, spices, those things are traded. Uh, also, even today, salt, that's another big resource that gets traded in that area. Civilizations that Aksum traded with at that time were Greece and Rome and India. They also traded with Egypt early in the beginning. Remember, Egypt traded along the Nile River. This is south of the Nile River, but uh, they traded with Punt, they traded with Kush, they traded with those civilizations. Um, you'll see in the video that you're going to watch on PBS, they found some coins from Aksum, actually all the way up in India, which is 2,000 miles away. So it was a large trading area. They also traded with China. So big trading area, um, traded with lots of different civilizations. So we see a lot of access, a lot of uh, things traded along the way, some of it through the Silk Road, that, which you studied last year. You'll also hear about a travel guide, believe it or not, that was written at that time called the Periplus of the Erythian Sea. This was written by a Greek trader in uh, the first century AD, but it talks about a lot of the trade and a lot of the people that he encountered as he was trading through this area. It talks about a lot of the goods that were traded. That's one of the reasons we know so much about this time and who they traded with and the different kinds of things that they traded for. The other thing you're going to see in the video are some of the monuments that were built at that time. They're called stele. If you remember um, back through Mesopotamia, we talked about the steels that were built in the center of the city that contained Hammurabi's code. Stele is the plural for the word steel. Um, there were lots of stele built in Adonis and in Aksum. And these stele were large, large monoliths, not quite obelisks. They weren't triangular or round, but large monoliths, they, um, we believe, are where the kings and the important people are buried. So you'll be quite surprised about some of the things you'll hear about those, how they were carved, how they were brought to be where they are, um, how big they are, how much they weigh, how long it took to move them and to carve them. So pay attention to that. That's rather important as well. So what are you going to do today? The first thing you're going to do is watch a video from PBS. It's about the Great Trading Center of Aksum. Um, it's a great video. You're going to watch the video. You're going to take an exit ticket about the video. Um, after you take the exit ticket, there are some other questions I want you to answer. And then finally, there's an activity. And in the activity, you're going to put yourself in one of those trading centers and either write um, you know, a couple of paragraphs about what you see, or if you're feeling creative, you can write a poem about what you see, what you hear, like what's going on around you. And then there's also some other questions about a steel and, or the stele and how those are made. So watch my video, which you're doing right now, 
watch the video from PBS about the Trading Center in Oxum, take the exit ticket. The exit ticket is about the PBS video. It's a great video. Um, take the exit ticket, answer the discussion questions. The questions are also about the video. And then you are going to do more of a little creative assignment where you're gonna write a couple paragraphs, putting yourself as if you're one of the vendors or one of the shoppers in the market area. So you can either write a little story or you can write a poem. And then there's just also a couple questions about the Stelle that you would see as well. Again, um, hopefully you're getting out, enjoying some of the good air, some of the nice weather. I know it's a little cool, but it's still been kind of nice outside. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either Mrs. Moore or myself. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.